Hey guys, it's OMG, it's Medina, back at it again with another video, just for you, just for you, just for you, in this series, Medina Core Volume 1 Tutorials. So, this is how I made Chain Link Fence from, you know, with the Medina Core Volume 1, just the normal edition. Let's get right into it. My last video was so long, I didn't want it to be very long, but <laughs> you know how that went. Um, let me get all this stuff locked because I don't want it to keep turning on and off, whatever, whatever. I'm just going to go through the automation really quick because it's something that happens throughout the entire, the entire thing. Okay. So it starts off at 140 BPM. It speeds up sadly to 180 BPM. That must be a freaking headache. If you try to sample this, um, I'm sorry, kind of. Uh, I have the master volume. It just kind of starts off not as loud because with this destructor preset, it made it really loud. I didn't want it to be that loud. Uh, I have this uh, sample. It's a drum break. I just have the volume come out a little later. This right here is just panning. This is just uh, panning I did on my... Uh, like my little MIDI keyboard, it had like knobs. So this is how it comes out when I start turning the knobs and whatever. There's two here. I just started, you know, messing around with them. That's all that is. Um, this is manipulator. I'll show you what preset I have on it. Alien translator just makes it sound like really wonky, and it just comes in every once in a while. Um, this is just we don't need that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the automation. Now that we got that out of the way, I can finally start with what this is. So I open up Purity, and I... That's just how it sounds. That's just how it sounds. I have it here just hitting F the whole time. F, F, F. Then I have this. It is purely for ambience, background noise, that is all. Don't worry, it only sounds ugly now because it has the destructor on, but when we start like leading into here, that's where it starts to like get a little more exciting, I guess, or like clearer. Oh my gosh, can I just, uh... Nope, I guess I can't. Alright, there we go. I'm just putting all this automation down here. I didn't know that was up there. Um... Let's... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that should be it. For all of the stuff I did not clean up <laughs> before this video. Okay. I had this playing. I have this also. Yeah, it sounds like really pretty. I have the serum. Just has two notes. It's really like dubstepy, really like, growling type thing. Oh, I have these little lo-fi drums here, like you can hear. I want it to start out like really chill, kind of sad almost, before like the tempo started to pick up. I did sample this one song. Uh, here, I have vocal samples. Um, everything is side chained. Whoo, whoo, side chained to the kick. So like pretty much almost all of the instruments uh, dip in volume when the kick hits. If you don't know what side chaining is or whatever, but uh, that happens when the drop you know, happens, this. That is just a pattern. Um, dang. Nah. That's, what is this? Oh, okay, there we go. I have this. Whew. That little ambience noise I had from before actually playing. 
starts playing the same thing as this. They're both playing the same thing. This is just a simplified version of what was playing above. Then I, uh, like, I took it. Oh, wrong button. I took it and then I squished it. That's all I did. <laughs> I don't know why I did it either. I have this. Yeah, it just starts playing for no dang reason. Uh, yeah, that starts playing along with like the kick and stuff. I have these two effects here. And... Yeah. And then it has like this weird like... Little uh... I don't even know what this is called. It takes like a half bar... Not a half bar, two bars. And it just goes crazy for a second there. But I have this little drum break. The volume comes up here. And then, uh, frick. This little, uh, convolver. The reverb comes back a little bit. I got this right here. This little pattern. Can it go on the freaking pattern? I'm like sick of it. Okay. Got this little purity thing. That's all that's playing. This little Wyoming thing. Like, gosh dang, it's playing the whole time. And this. It's just like just to build up tension. And then finally I got this, you know, bass. It was playing super high at the beginning, it doesn't sound like a bass, but then you know, at the last two notes, you know. You know what's about to happen. I have this kick. Really distorted. That's the main kick. And it just hits four times before the drop. And I have, you know, these little, oh, glitches, ha 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 from these samples that I got. Um, yeah, they just come in a little early to... Yeah, uh, that's not actually how the original song sounds. I lost the preset for it, so I had to recreate it. It's a little too loud for my liking. Let's turn it down a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, it's uh, side chain to the kick, or the kick is side chain to it. I don't know which one, but uh, this dips down when the kick hits, and the kick basically dominates the whole thing. I got this basic hi hat with a little bit of panning. I have this snare, like a bunch of freaking. Uh, Just a bunch of stuff happening. I have two open hats going. This one's kind of for rhythm. And this one's just for a little messing around. It goes... Yeah. These are sounding like really glitchy and cool and I like it. Uh, this... Is the kick. The kick. That one is like a lo-fi kick. These two are lo-fi sounds, like, that I got. Um, the kick also, I just made it really distorted. And then I got this snare clap thing. Kind of sounds like EDM-ish. Then I have the beloved bass. Woo! Yeah, I have it layered with this also, a bass. I'm not crazy about layering bases, but I just did it because I wanted to. And I have this. But it's, uh, it's that chain to the kick. All of this is that chain to the kick, so it sounds a little more exciting than what you're hearing right now. I 
and I like made it glitch out every once in a while. These two are playing the same thing as you can see, but um, I'll actually play these with the kick so you're not so lost when it starts playing. Play with the bass. Yeah, uh, then this electric guitar starts coming in. And it starts doing the reverse of that. And it kind of switches between those two. I also have the Wyoming coming back. And then this little purity. Yeah, that comes in, and I'll play it all together. It sounds kind of cool. I'll start it from here. Um, then it goes a little crazy here. I have this hat. And then... That's not supposed to play. This little, like, dinky little kick. A bunch of, like, just little things. Uh just to fill the void that I had because I was like oh there's not a lot playing so I'll just keep adding more of these little lo-fi uh, samples as you can see I got carried away a little bit uh, decided to bring this back just playing over there I just don't stop. I don't know why this is there. It doesn't affect it at all. Um, I have this hat. Oh, that's actually the kick that is not supposed to be there. <laughs> it only comes back for this little thing I'll show you later. It gets a little weird there. But I also have this play with this. It just keeps playing what it was playing before, the bass. And more drums. And we can't forget the kick. That makes everything really like stop. For a second, I also have this. I took the sample and I put it into Slicer. And then I have these vocals playing right here. Final Fantasy, yet again, yet again, it, like I have used it in every single song. This is what was playing before, just uh, sped up, you know, kind of squished into half of the time it was before. I'll play it all together now. That's what happens. <laughs> Just the vocals that uh, kind of stay at one note for the whole time there but it's just playing the same thing but just being really chopped up that's all then the beginning plays again but i put this new uh thing here that actually plays during the like after the drop i put it there just you know new element wow 
then I take the hatch back right here. And then the kick comes back just like a higher pitched just for the drop. Okay, now everything plays as usual, just like we were playing before, except without the sample and this brand new, this brand new, how do we, there we go, this plays. This brings the vocals back without it being too sudden. I also have this coming back. Hold on. Yay! That's the sample that was playing over here. But, you know, I just bring it back for the little funsies. And then it goes back to what was playing before. And then it does the loop again, but I just added the vocals here. And then the song ends. Surprise, surprise. And then, you know, fades out the volume, whatever, whatever. Oh my gosh, save. Yeah, pretty much. That's all that happens. It looks kind of complicated, but, you know, after listening to this, hopefully you're not so, uh, confused. Uh, yeah, just to make something like this. You just need to start off a little, you know, mellow, and then really go for like trying to be catchy type thing, upbeat, and then just start mixing together throughout the song. It's just the two things, like kind of being sad and slow in the beginning, not a lot of drums, and then a whole lot of drums, not a lot, like the ratio kind of flips, and then you can just kind of mix them around, have a little fun. Uh, don't be afraid to have so much happening at once you know people are like oh i only have seven tracks i'm like no i'll just keep adding until it sounds all right <laughs> that's my technique but uh yeah i hope you learned a little something something if you really like in this series subscribe maybe or follow me on instagram leave a little comment if you want me to go even like more in depth because this is kind of skimming over some of the patterns i made that are a little more uh intricate <laughs> yeah, if you want like more in-depth stuff, just let me know, because I can definitely go back and, like, even to the other tutorials, like, just let me know. But, uh, that's it for this song. Make sure to go listen to it, please, on Spotify or SoundCloud or Apple Music, any platform you want. I'm on there. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you learned something. I'm OMG, it's Medina again. Love y'all. Uh, have a great day, and I hope you have fun making beats. See ya.